All right, let's take a live look now at the pass. It just is such a beautiful day to see blue skies and so, so much snow. Also, so much sunshine. I almost tried to create a word there. <laughs> Sun <laughs> and snow combined. Snow shine. Yeah, it's the best. <laughs> it's the best combo. But we're also talking about some amazing temperatures today, Leah, <sighs> all over the sound. Oh my gosh, the warmest temperatures so far of the year. Absolutely beautiful blue skies, lots of fun activities to get out and enjoy today. The Sounders game, we can see Rusnak getting ready to hit what's looking like a corner kick, but what I love is that clear blue sky behind him. What a spectacular day. Thank you to the Sounders for sending me that photo. Another look from the Seattle Center, Alicia Crank sent me this one. If you went out to the Kraken game today, also clear blue skies. Oh my gosh, what a perfect day, and we love that it fell on a Saturday. SeaTac officially hit the warmest day of the year so far. 65 degrees is what we have felt so far. Look at these warm temperatures across the board. Arlington, 67 degrees. Many areas hitting 66 degrees, including Bremerton, Puyallup, Olympia, Chehalis, Hoquiam. Oh my gosh, does it feel like summer yet? Right now we are still sitting at 65 degrees at SeaTac. I don't think we'll warm up from here. I think this is where we'll peak for the day. We'll likely start our cool down now here shortly, and we are going to be cooling down into the low 40s overnight tonight, so a relatively mild night tonight. We're going to see cloud coverage building into our overnight hours, and then that's going to stick around into tomorrow. We actually bring back rain chances for tomorrow, but not until the second half of the day. These are our observed high or our anticipated highs for tomorrow. It's going to be a little bit cooler than what we felt today, but we are still going to stay above average. Normal for this time of year for SeaTac is 54 degrees, but I am still thinking we will hit that 60 degree mark. Many areas in the upper 50s, low 60s tomorrow. So it will still be relatively warmer compared to where we typically are for this time of year. But today was the warmest day of the upcoming week. We're going to see a bigger cool down into later on this week. So for tonight, we're watching that cloud coverage build and into tomorrow morning. It'll be cloudy, but not expecting the rain to hit until the second half of the day in those PM hours. This is showing 3 PM. We see it start to hit the coast and then creep towards South Sound. So up to the north, you'll likely stay dry uh, into our evening hours. Now we go 10 PM, then it becomes more widespread, but really for the most part, it's light rain. And because temperatures are going to be on the warmer side, we'll struggle to get any past snow. Monday morning, 7 AM, it pushes north. We transition to more spotty showers. We'll still keep rain in the forecast, but definitely not as strong as that first push, but even then it's pretty light. By Monday evening, same thing, we are hanging on to showers. So it'll be damp, it won't be outright wet. Olympia for tomorrow, you'll likely stay dry until about 4 p.m. That's when we'll start to see those rain chances. Up to the north, we're not going to bring those rain chances in until those evening after dinner time hours. You'll just see cloudy skies with those low 60s expected into tomorrow. And then the cool down continues into Monday. Look at that drastic drop. We're going to be cooling down about 10 degrees in the span of just one day, just in time for spring with the spotty showers lingering Tuesday and Wednesday, actually looking a little bit more dry, but still cooler temperatures than into the end of the week. We really drop back down daytime highs in the upper 40s and another push for rain.